This is Abram Pelcher with Laptop Magazine, and we're here today with Lenovo's new 2014 edition of the ThinkPad X1 Carbon, the ultra-thin business notebook that, uh, that was really impressed us in 2012, has a whole new bag of tricks in 2014. Uh, so let's take a, a quick look at, at what's different uh, on the new ThinkPad X1 Carbon. Uh, for one, on the inside, you have an Intel a fourth generation core series Haswell chip, uh, which is going to allow this to get nine plus hours of battery life, uh, improving on the battery life, which was okay on the previous model, but on this could be really good. Uh, over here, what we have for the keyboard, we have some very interesting changes. Uh, you notice that there are no discrete buttons for the track point. That's consistent with other ThinkPads on the market today. Uh, and Lenovo has interestingly gotten rid of the caps lock key uh, to have home and end buttons instead. If you want caps lock, you double hit the shift key and it lights up. Uh, backspace and delete are an interesting position. Uh, but this is still a, a really solid Lenovo ThinkPad keyboard. Um, another thing that is interesting and unique and a first time uh, Lenovo feature is what they call adaptive keyboard, the adaptive row. Up here, these are all touch buttons. And you see they are, you know, they light up and they light up uh, to the symbols change depending on the application you're in or whether you hit this little function button. So there's four, there's four combinations. There's a conferencing combination, uh, which gives you microphones. There's a web browsing combination. I'm on the web browsing combination. Um, there's a conferencing combination, which gives you kind of microphone uh, possibilities. There's ones with just regular function keys. Uh, and uh, there's this default one, which just gives you a bunch of buttons to different things like your cloud services, etc. Uh, not only do they change when you hit the hit the FN button here, but they change based on the app you're in. So if I go into Skype right here, uh, you'll if I go into Skype, you'll see that uh, we're now, we now actually have the conferencing buttons. It's smart enough and it knows that, and you can configure it as such. Um, a screen itself uh, has gotten an upgrade. Uh, now you can get it with an optional 2560 by 1440 display, uh, which is which is new for this year. Uh, the, the default is still 1600 by 900, but you have the option to get it uh, with touch or not touch. Uh, you have new gesture controls and uh, Dragon Voice Assistant 1.5 as well for voice controls. Uh, so if I pass my hand over, uh, you can see I forwarded through some music. If I hit, if I tap correctly, it's going to start the music. And if I, um, if I do it again, it's going to pause. So start, it's playing, it's paused, back, forward, etc. Uh, that also works in PowerPoint, where it, which could be very useful for businesses. Uh, taking a look at the, uh, at the outside of the notebook just real quickly, we have over here um, a USB 3 port, and for the first time, a uh, proprietary Ethernet port. Uh, you'll need a special cable from Lenovo, but the reason why they've added this port is for uh, IT managers who want to be able to boot off the LAN and do other secure things that they need a native Ethernet port for. Um, because this is such a thin device, obviously uh, there, there's a limited number of ports, uh, so there's no SD card reader on this one. Uh, but you will notice that now it has the one link dock feature that we've seen a couple of other ThinkPads that allows it to get power and uh, data and you know monitor and your display over a single connection. There's now a full-size HDMI port, which is a big plus. Uh, still mini display port like the last unit and a second USB 3 port in conferencing. Uh, the system's also gotten slight, about a tenth of a pound lighter uh, and a few millimeters thinner uh, than last year's model. This one feels incredibly thin and light in the hand. Uh, you know, this won't weigh your bag down at all. And uh, like pre last year, it folds flat. And when it's folded flat, it, uh, that also gives you, that also adjusts the, uh, the function row. So that was just a quick look at the new 2014 edition of the ThinkPad X1 Carbon. It looks like one of the leading business ultrabooks, maybe getting even better.